Hey, good morning, everybody. This morning, I'd like to talk about the bank and the panel of valuers. So every bank and financial institutions, they have their panel of valuers. And panel of, to have a panel of valuer is a form of risk management. So the risk that the banks and the financial institutions are managing here mainly is the valuation fraud or appraisal fraud. So valuation or appraisal fraud happens when the valuation of a property is tempered with the value of a property is tempered with another party without the knowledge of the valuer who valued the property or sometimes the fraud can happen when the value of a property is influenced by other factors such as other people who are not values for example if someone wants to get a 300,000 kina loan and he or she wants to mortgage their property and then their property on the the real market is uh, it worth about 150,000 eh? and then they pay extra uh, you know, fees to the valuer and they ask the valuer if he or she can increase the value of the property to 500,000 so that the bank can finance 300,000, they can get 300,000 in a loan. And if the bank relies on this valuation and then fund the, the landlord 300,000, not knowing that the real market value of the property is 150,000 because the bank rely on the valuation report, you see. In the instances where the the landlord defectors in his loan repayment and the harris build up and then if eventually the bank take possession of the property the bank goes on site and finds out that no the property is not five hundred thousand the actual property i mean value of the property on the market is hundred fifty thousand and now they've realized that they have been you know fooled into funding the landlord three hundred thousand thinking that the value of the property was 500,000. That is where the landlord will get into trouble and then the value also. And even the bank, because the bank has already given them the money, you see. That is the problem or the risk that the banks, they're managing by having approved, recognized, you know, valuers on their panel so that they will rely. They will rely on the and the you know repetition and the experiences of these valuers so they don't just get you know valuation from any other valuers uh, they only get this uh their valuation from this uh approved they approved and recognized uh values who are on the panel of values so that's that's about that i mean that's the main reason why they have the panel of values my bit of advice to the people who are going to the to the bank to get loan if you ever go to a bank or a financial institution that is only two or one valuer on the panel, my best advice to you, don't go to these financial institutions. Why? Because I had experiences working with, uh, you know, a valuation company that is owned and run by an expatriate. And that valuation company kind of, you know, monopolize the, the, the valuation in this, you know, mortgage and loan things because he has been on the panel of valuers he has been a panel of valuer for most of the banks and the financial institutions and what happened was he was not a valuer but profession but because he's the ceo or the boss of the company he influences most of the the valuation that is done by the valuers so i had an instance where i had an instant where I was sent to do a valuation of a property that is owned by another expatriate. The property was in a very, very depreciated state and the value was around 200000 I did the valuation and the guy, that boss man, he ordered me to change the valuation and put it to 500000 Just imagine. And then one of the instances is a native Papua New Union. He was building a massive uh, supermarket. He spent around almost two million kina already, so he wanted to go to the bank and then ask for a, you know, a loan for additional two million kina to complete the building. I did the valuation. The valuation, the building was, uh, you know, uh, halfway completed. So the obviously the market value is around five million. I did the value of that uh, property, and that again, that boss man, because the owner of that uh, supermarket is the Papua New Guinea National Black. He ordered me to devalue, undervalue, reduce the value of the property to 1.5 million kina. That was a complete ripoff. I advised the, the owner of the property go to another value. That's what happens 
when a bank or a financial institution has only one valuer on the panel, then these valuers, they play around. They play around and then they will misguide you. So when you go to a bank, you make sure that you go to a bank that has three to four valuers on their panel. So I was talking about one player, two player. Don't go, I tell you. I'm speaking from experience. Because most of the times, the valuations are manipulated and influenced by people who are not valuers. So if you need help, our assistance, we at Yalungu Values, we are uh, readily available to assist you. You can contact me uh, on the contact that is shown on the screen right now. If it is not shown on the screen, just inbox me directly so we can talk more about it. And uh, you all have a top day, and I'll see you when it comes to property valuation matters. Cheers.